Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, you know it's fall and winter time, y'all, and I've been getting requests to do a big old pot of beef stew, and that's what I'm gonna do. If you watched my previous video this week of my imperfect food haul, I had some things come in there onions, carrots, potatoes, beef stock. So I'm gonna add a couple of more things with it, and we're gonna make a big old pot of old school beef stew on a nice cold wintry rainy day so yeah y'all sit tight and let me get off camera here i'm gonna prep everything up get the meat all diced up and the carrots cut and diced and everything and i'll be back and put this thing together so we'll be right back okay y'all we are back here okay we're gonna get started on this thing it's a lot of things a lot of flavors to build i got everything cut up here first thing i'm gonna do is season my meat here Put salt and pepper on there and I'm gonna season also when I put it in the pot. Got the meat cut up. Now I left a little fat on mine. You can take your fat off completely, but I like a little fat on my beef beef stew meat. You can do it totally lean. It's up to you, y'all. However you want to do it. Okay, let's get this in the skillet in the pot here. But what I want to do, I want to sear this off. I want to sear this meat off on every side here. I ain't got a little bit too much oil in here. It's okay. I'll drain off here in a minute because I'm going to need it for my flour. <clears throat> and I cut it in like maybe one inch strip. <coughs> you can do cubes if you want. So I'm going to get this all seared off here. I want it. Excuse me, y'all. That's that pepper I got in my throat there. Okay. I'm going to sear this off. Get a nice good sear on this meat. Because uh, that's the first important key here. A little bit more shake on there. I'll put the, I can put the meat when it come off, y'all. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. The peas I'm not going to need till later. See that nice sear on there? That's what you want. And I'm gonna pull some of this oil out of here, y'all. I'm gonna pull some of this oil out of here in just a second. Soon I take this first batch out. Cause that's what it's doing, it's boiling it. Instead of uh, instead of searing it, and I definitely want to sear it instead of boiling it. This is not what I, exactly what I want, so I'm gonna take some of this all out of here. I definitely don't want a greasy beef stew here. Okay. Let me take this out of here. And I'm gonna move some of this fat. Just a little, not much. Move some of this fat, put it in my fat bowl right here. Got a bowl right here, I save my fat. Okay. If I need to add some more, I'll put it back in there. Okay, now, we're going to add some more meat to this. Like I say, we don't want to overcrowd the pot. If you want to sear it, not boil it. I'm going to 
put a little bit more seasoning on my meat here. It's all about building flavors, y'all. Got my cavernous and got my my shake here. And I'm gonna do my vegetables the same way. And this is some just some chuck beef chuck, y'all, that I'm using. Red low beef chuck. So I'm gonna step off, y'all. I'm gonna finish searing all this meat off here. When I come back, I'm gonna show you the next step of the old school beef stew. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Now this is what we want here. See that nice color on this meat? Turn it over. You got all that flavor in this pot. Nice brown brown. Like I said, I like a little fat on mine. You don't you want to take yours off, you can. But when I'm eating the soup, I like to bite down on little fatty pieces. I'm just like that. Everybody's preference. Nice brown on that. The next thing I'm going to put after I take that out, I'm going to put my carrots in there, get them nice and caramelized in my onions. That's two kind of onions I'm going to put in there. And the last thing we're going to put in the lab within the last hour of the cooking process is going to be the, the potatoes and the, I got frozen peas and frozen uh, green beans we're going to put in here. So we're going to have a big pot of stew, y'all. Okay, now, let's get this off of here. All this beef off of here. A lot of beef, y'all. I mean, a lot of good old beef stew. All this going to cook down, though. Get all that off. Okay, now. Now, what we gonna do here? I'm gonna throw my carrots in there. My onions. I'm gonna put some garlic in here. And a couple of teaspoons of garlic. I'm going to move this around here with my spoon. All them flavors, all that good stuff that's in the bottom of that pan is going to come off. But I'm also fit to salt the vegetables. Salt and pepper. Got my Greek seasoning here. Like I say, we're going to build these flavors. This soup going to be absolutely amazing. Got my shake in here. All kinds of flavors up in here. Oh yeah. Nice flavors we building, y'all. You can smell that garlic, the caramelization of the vegetables. Let that cook about two or three minutes here. Be right back. Let's check something here. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. Now what you could do, if you had some red wine, you could put some red wine in this. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going straight beef stock here. Y'all remember the beef stock that I got the other day? In my uh, Imperfect Food haul. 
beef broth. I'm gonna pour my beef broth in here now. Pour all that in there. Get that in there. I might have to add a little bit more water to this. It'll look like enough. Let me get all that off the side first. Use that broth and get all this, all that flavor off the side here. Off this side. Mm-hmm. Now. tomato paste in mine. Give it that extra body. Put some more stock in there and then I'm going to put some tomato paste in here. Give it that extra <clears throat> little extra body there. these flavors. Okay, let's put some more. Add a little bit more water to this. But this gonna cook down once I add the beef. It's gonna simmer here. And I'm gonna simmer it on top of the stove, y'all. I'm not gonna even put it in the oven. About an hour and a half. I'm gonna have to watch it. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little tomato paste in here. That's gonna like I said, if I had put red wine in there, I wouldn't put as much tomato paste. So I'm not going to put no red wine. I'm going to put tomato paste in here. You can use chopped tomatoes if you want to. But it's going to give it some more body and more color. That's what tomato paste is going to do. And at the end, we're going to add a little roux at the end to give it that thickness. But I'm not going to add that until the end. I want this to simmer. First, I want to incorporate the tomato paste. Okay, now, that's incorporated. Now, we're going to add the beef back to this. All that meat back into this. Now, we're going to let this simmer really slow for about an hour and a half about an hour and a half. I'm going to cover it up and let it simmer on low. About an hour and a half. Let that meat get almost tender. Then I'm going to add my potatoes. And my, uh, I got some pearl onions I'm going to add to it. And uh, some peas and the green beans. So we'll be right back in about an hour and a half. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay. This here been simmering. About an hour and a half, y'all. Look how rich this is. Look how rich this soup loop is. And I put pearl onions in here. I did. I did that after I, I, the pearl onions were supposed to go in there with the onions and, and regular onions and the carrots, y'all. So they in here too, cooking. We've been simmering for about an hour and a half. The meat is three quarters of the way done. Look how rich this is. Now what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna cook it in layers here. Now I'm gonna add my potatoes. Of course, y'all know if I didn't want to cook my potatoes no hour and a half in here. So now I'm gonna add my potatoes in here. Y'all nice stuff. I'm gonna let these start cooking for the another for the next 30, 45 minutes. Let my potatoes cook. Now after that's cooked, I'm gonna add the last two things I gotta add, y'all. Is my uh Green beans and my peas. And that's going to be last minute because they already cooked. They're frozen, thawed out. They already cooked. And I don't want to lose too much of flavor. And I don't want them to be too mushy. But look at this beef stew. Coming along very, very good. Smelling amazing in here. That's why I like cooking beef stew on top of the stove. Because uh, it just the whole aroma in your kitchen is amazing. Especially on a fall and winter day. Big old bottle, uh, pot of this. Bowl of this. I got some hot buttered rice right here, y'all. And I got some cornbread in the oven. And it's going to be on, y'all, tonight. Sit down and snuggle up to the TV and watch a nice movie or whatever, a sporting event or whatever you like. 
And a big old pile of, a bowl of uh, beef stew doesn't get any better. So I'm gonna let this simmer about 45 minutes. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna add our peas and uh, green beans, and then we'll be almost through with this, y'all. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. We are about two and a half hours, almost two hours into this soup. A little bit over two hours, I'm sorry. Into this stew. Look how beautiful this is, y'all. Look how rich, shiny. The potatoes are done now. The meat has got about 10 more minutes to go. So, like I said, we cook in steps. We don't want to overcook things. We want to cook in steps. So now, we're going to put our frozen veggies in there. I'm going to put my peas and my green beans. Now, look, you can put whatever you want. I put corn in there sometimes, but I'm not putting corn today. I'm going with my green veggies. My mama will be proud of me. I'm eating my green veggies today. Okay, get that all going in there. Y'all didn't think that was going to all fit, did you? Oh, yeah, this is a stew, y'all. See how hearty that is? That's so hearty. It's not a lot of liquid. It's just all goodness. Hearty. Every spoonful, you get a lot of lot of food on every spoonful. That's a, that's a stew, y'all. That's a stew. So now, I'm going to let this simmer. I want, them, I want the vegetables to soak up all that goodness. So I'm going to let this simmer about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes on low. That meat is almost tender there, completely tender. And we about to have us a big old bowl of stew, y'all. Cover that up. I got my right rice here, y'all know. Look what I got right here. Just come out the oven. Look at that. That good cornbread. It's on, y'all. It's on. Wish y'all was here to join me later. Cover that up and let it simmer about, about 15, 20 more minutes. Come back. We're going to eat up some old school beef stew, y'all. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We back here. Okay, here. That's bowl of us, uh, big bowl of this stuff here. And we're going to try this out, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Hey. Don't get much better than this on a winter's day, y'all. What's that commercial say? <laughs> Good enough to eat with a spoon, chunky enough to eat with a fork. Remember that old commercial? That's what this is, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a fork. I'm trying to this meat I'm trying to this meat y'all. Look at that. Meat is tender. See how tender it is? Mm. Perfectly cooked. Look. Look how tender it is. Look at that. Fire pot. That's what you want. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to eat a little of this because I don't want to ruin my supper in about three hours when we eat supper. And guess what my supper going to be? Me and about three of my neighbors. Mm. And I did add corn to this, y'all. When I stepped off, I looked in the freezer, had a half a bag of frozen corn. Mm. I just threw it in there. Mm. I'm telling y'all, beef stew is nothing written in stone. We can add whatever best we want. I didn't add celery to mine. I don't like celery, y'all know that. Only time I really use celery is in dressing. Other than that, I'm really not a fan of celery. We definitely add the celery today. But anyway, y'all, try this recipe. You'll feed your whole family. Matter of fact, you can look at supermarkets right now, and they have that chuck roast, what I use for this on sale. Because they know everybody making beef stew right now. And they got it on sale. I know Crow has got it on sale the last couple of weeks. Because everybody making beef stew. You can buy 10 pounds, but it's about 6 bucks. And the vegetables is nothing. So you can feed a family of 4 or 6 on 10, 12 bucks. And they can go back and get seconds. Just a little cooking advice there. Anyway, let me close this video. Y'all know the hashtag this year. Of 2021, help somebody old school soul food. 
So follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Y'all got to eat this stew. See y'all later. Bye.